Hello everybody, it's Summon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Islands video. Oh, hello there little paint horse. Um, but today we are going to be making some Halloween tack sets for my horses as well as fixing some of my old Halloween tack sets because I just, we're not going to talk about that right now. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So I do have a lot of new Halloween accessories that we are going to be using for this. So to start, let me just grab my old Halloween horses. So we've got Charlotte here. I don't know what's going on with her tag set. Don't even ask me, guys. I made her set when I was new to Wild Horse Islands. And it's honestly a nightmare. Like, I, there's nothing else to describe it. So we're just going to clear her tack like that. And then we're also going to clear my other Halloween horses tack, which would be Midnight. We don't know what's going on with this either, so... So we're just going to unequip that stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, there we go. Now we're at a fresh start for all of my horses and my inventory is overflowing. But we'll, we'll sort all of this out, you guys. So I think since Midnight is out, I guess we'll start with her new fresh tack set. So she is a Blood Moon Thoroughbred, as you can see here. So that is pretty cool. So let me see what accessories I have and what we could do for her tack. So I do have this bat stuff. I believe she already had a little bit of a bat set going on um, when I first was making her tack set, but I didn't have enough of the items. So I think we'll go with these bat items. We'll add those on. We'll see how they look, and then we can take it off if it does not work out. Okay. Oh, hi there, paint horse. This paint horse seems to really like us. I mean, this actually looks pretty cool, the bat stuff. I actually am kind of liking this. Now, let me see. Do I have a cool dye? The purple to black fade dye would look really cool with this. I don't know if I have that, though. I moved all my dyes to my inventory so that we can easily access them. So, I think that the witch fade might look cool, but I only have two of those, so I'm not really sure. You know, I think that we'll leave her mane as it is because it is kind of dark, like midnight, you know? I think that overall this looks pretty cool. Now we just need to craft a bridle and a saddle, but my inventory can't handle that right now. So we will come back and craft their uh, tack later on. Next, let's fix Charlotte. So Charlotte here is a spiderweb Appaloosa. Um, so I named her Spar uh, Charlotte because, you know, Charlotte's web is like something with spider webs. It's like a story. So I'm like, oh, that's fitting. So of course, we'll, we'll add back on her tail spider web. I think I had that on there originally. And then I also have this spider web aura. So that definitely fits pretty good. We just need to find some other items that would suit this. I do have these cool like bat glasses. Would this look cool on Charlotte? I think that looks kind of cool. I also have shiny white little head bolts. Mm, I don't really like the look of that though on her. Honestly, I don't really have too many things that would match this. Um, I do have this mouth scythe. Is that too... Is that too much? No, I think this is cool. She has. She's going to have this cool spider webby set. You know, I don't know how I feel about the glasses. I feel like they don't quite match the best, so we'll take that off. I don't really have too much in the way of items that I could put. I do have um, a shiny white witch broom. Honestly, the obsidian did kind of look nice with this, though. Um, so we'll add back her obsidian crown and her obsidian bell boots. I think that we'll come back to Charlotte again because I do need to do some crafting and my inventory's full. Also, I forgot to add the, back, the bat aura to Midnight. She originally had that, and I think it's pretty cool. And then she also had a lantern on, which I think would also fit. So we'll just add that back real quick. So yeah, this actually looks pretty cool. Okay, moving on to another tech set. We're going to be jumping around quite a bit with this one. I think I'm going to craft something for my jack-o'-lantern and illusion. Because that's really cool. I have this guy right here that I obtained and it has the mane and tail on it already. So I think we'll just keep it at that. And then of course we have to do the jack-o'-lantern stuff. Now I do have a lot of jack-o'-lantern items, which is good. So we'll just equip Okay, so I have this jack-o'-lantern tail ribbon. However, I could do this jack-o'-lantern pin instead. Nah, I think we'll just go with the tail ribbon. 
but we can add the face pin. I think the face pin would add a nice little touch to this. Yes, I do in fact like that. And then I also have um, a bridle that would look pretty good. Here, let's unequip that. I think I have those on storage horses, yeah. All right, here, let's move this guy over to the sun. There we go. Okay, so this actually looks really, really cool with the whole jack-o'-lantern set. I just need to craft um, a saddle. And then let's also add on an aura. So I don't think that they added a jack-o'-lantern aura. No, they didn't. So I have this little ghost aura. How would that look? No, I feel like the ghosts don't necessarily fit with that. Would a pumpkin aura look good? Because I could add this pumpkin aura. I mean, it doesn't quite fit the jack-o'-lanterns. I mean, I guess it kind of does. The pumpkin aura kind of looks good with this. They're just uncarved jack-o'-lanterns, pretty much. So, I think that we'll stick with that. And then I do now have inventory space, so we can craft a saddle. Um, I think that we will give this guy an all-purpose saddle, just because, you know, it would match with whatever. Color-wise, I think that black would probably match the best. And then I think copper might be a good tier because it's, you know, black and orange. So let's go ahead and craft that. And there we go. That looks good. And then since he's a jack-o'-lantern and illusion, I think that we'll just name him Jack. Because, you know, jack-o'-lantern. We're, we're so creative with these names, you guys. So this here is Jack. We'll go ahead and lock him. And he's our jack-o'-lantern and illusion, and I absolutely love him. Like, look at how cool-looking he is. Such a, such a cool Halloween horse. Um, so he's completely finished now. We don't have to go back to him at all. And then let's move on to our next horse. And I think we'll do my fiend Frisian here. So I obtained this one from the cauldron, and it has the cool horns as well. And then I do have some neon turquoise stuff for this here horse. So let's go ahead and see what items I have. Okay, so we have neon turquoise glasses, head bow. Mm, oh, it's glasses or the head bow. We'll go with the glasses. The glasses are more fun. Look how cool that looks on this horse here. And then we'll add our tombstone and our little feet things. <laughs> Why did I just call them feet, thing feet things? Okay, so now we need a saddle pad and some polo wraps. Now, I believe I have some neon flowers on me, so we should be able to craft that just fine. So, let's go ahead and craft our polo wraps, neon turquoise, and craft. There we go. That looks pretty cool. And then, let's do our saddle pad now. And turquoise, craft. And there we go. Oh! <gasps> You guys, this actually looks pretty epic. We got this cool tombstone that says, ouch. Got the neon, we got the glasses. This looks really, really good. I'm happy with this. And then we need to, of course, craft um, a bridle and a saddle. We'll do dressage. Tier we want obsidian. No. Color we want black. And then tier I could do diamond. Yeah, we'll just go with this. We got the tier of diamond. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. This looks pretty cool. And then Tyr will make this one diamond as well. Should I make the bridle black or should I make it neon? Should I make it neon? I mean, it won't match the saddle, but it would look pretty cool. We'll make it neon. Why not? We're going for it, you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This looks really cool. I like this. Super, super cool. Now, I need to think of a name for this guy. I can't think of a name. Um... For now, he's just our fiend Frisian. So we'll just rename him name. That's what I've been doing with all the horses that I can't think of a name of. I think I have a bit of a collection of horses with no name. Yeah, there's my lovely collection of no name horses that I still need to think of names for. So that's our fiend Frisian. And then our next horse would be the graveyard Mustang right here. I have no idea what I'm going to do for this tack. Um, I have some randomness. I think pearl might look good with this here horse. Like, you know, a pearl set. I think that would look nice. Because it's kind of like purpley. So let me just unequip this pearl stuff. It was just on a storage horse, so it's fine. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, the pearl actually fits this really well. I think we'll keep the tombstone because, you know, it's kind of eerie and stuff. Then crown, head star. 
And then I could do Tombstone or Unicorn Statue, but we'll stick with Tombstone. I think initially I was going to use the Unicorn Statue, but I can have another Pearl Set, you know, if I want to. Okay. So this looks pretty cool for our Graveyard Mustang. We need to craft some Polo Wraps, though, because I don't happen to have those yet in Pearl. Okay, that looks nice. And then we need to go ahead and craft a saddle and a bridle. Hmm, I don't know what color to do. We'll give this horse a racing saddle, though, because I haven't went, done one of those in a while. I could do pearl on pearl. Would that be too much, though? We might just make this white. Yeah, I think I'll just do white. And then amethyst might look good because it's kind of purpley. But obsidian could be cool as well. Ooh, clear quartz would look good, too. I think we'll do clear quartz. Here we go. Wait, did I not color this? I think I accidentally did the default color. Yep, I did. It's okay, we'll craft a new one. We'll just sell the other one. There we go. And then we'll give this one, we'll give them a, uh, a western bridal. Clear quartz, black, craft. And there we go. Wait, why did I craft it black? Wasn't I going to do white? I don't know what I'm thinking. I mean, it worked out in the end. This looks pretty nice. Okay, so we got our graveyard Mustang done. Uh, let me think of a name. You guys, I can't with names today. This will be another new name for now. I will think of one eventually. There we go. <laughs> name. And let's go ahead and lock. Alright guys, so I am in fact splitting this video into two parts because I don't want it to get too long and I have a ton more tax sets to make. Um, so there will be a part two, but those are all the ones that we made for part one and I will be going back and fixing up Charlotte's tax set and Midnight's because, you know, those were kind of unfinished in this video. But in part two, I will go ahead and finish those up as well as make a bunch more cool Halloween tax sets. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss part two. And I hope that you enjoyed part one. We definitely got a lot of super cool, um, tacked horses so that's awesome and it definitely helps my inventory space having those accessories equipped so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed it and i hope you all have a wonderful day goodbye everybody